James Dunn, a notable actor, might bring back fond memories for those who have followed his career. Whether it's a scene from a classic film or a particular performance that left an impression, his work has a way of sticking in the minds of his audience. What's your most treasured memory or personal experience related to this classic actor? We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Stay tuned as we uncover amusing, surprising, and even touching facts about him. Keep watching this video for an insightful journey into the life and career of this actor. Share your thoughts and experiences in the comments. We can't wait to hear from you. Born in New York City, he faced financial challenges during his childhood. Discovering a passion for performing arts early on, he found comfort in acting. Transitioning from Broadway to Hollywood, he encountered setbacks but remained determined. His breakthrough came with a role in Bad Girl, earning him an Academy Award. Excelling in various genres, he left a lasting impact on the industry. His early life experiences shaped a strong work ethic that propelled him toward success in acting. James Dunn portrayed Johnny Nolan in A Tree Grows in Brooklyn. Dorothy McGuire, who played his wife, was 15 years younger than him. Peggy Ann Garner, who portrayed their daughter, was just 15 years younger than McGuire. Despite the age gap, director Elia Kazan opted not to use makeup to age McGuire, relying instead on her acting skills. During filming for Society Girl, he sustained a multiple rib separation injury in an unexpected fight scene. In his early career, Dunn's mother, Jessie, managed his finances, investing in real estate, stocks, and bonds. When he married Francis Gifford, Jessie transferred most assets to him. She also set up a trust fund he could access at 50, ensuring financial security. James Dunn, the actor who won an Oscar, had mixed feelings about his Academy Award. While he appreciated the honor, he later thought it brought bad luck. He said his job prospects got better only after his wife Edna hid the Oscar. In one of his famous roles, he played Johnny Nolan in A Tree Grows in Brooklyn. The director, Aaliyah Kazan, thought his experience with drinking would make his portrayal of an alcoholic more realistic. His skill in acting drunk added depth to the character. In 1936, he joined the Ruth Chatterton Air Derby, a race from Cleveland to Los Angeles. This event showed another side of his life, highlighting his daring and adventurous spirit. Whether dealing with superstitions, playing the role of an alcoholic, or participating in a cross-country air race, James Dunn's experiences and roles shaped his career. His journey was filled with personal challenges and diverse acting roles. In 1933, he was engaged to actress Lona Andre. She canceled the wedding at the last minute, fearing marriage would hurt her career. In 1937, he, an avid and accomplished pilot who owned his own plane, helped federal agents by flying them and their prisoner to New Orleans. He returned to Los Angeles before the studio executives knew he had even gone. He played Shirley Temple's father in so many movies, a lot of 1930s moviegoers thought he really was her father. Throughout his career, he balanced his roles on and off screen with notable grace and skill, leaving an impression on audiences of his time. James Dunn began his acting career in the movie Bad Girl, shifting from stage to screen. He helped out a sick extra during filming of Hold Me Tight, ensuring the person got paid. This act showed his kindness, revealing his willingness to aid others. Despite starting from humble beginnings, he became well-known thanks to his performances. Behind the scenes, he was praised for his friendly and caring nature, which added depth to his roles. Both his co-workers and audiences admired him, and he made a lasting impact on the film industry. James Dunn played Johnny Nolan in A Tree Grows in Brooklyn and got an Oscar nod for it. He was also in Bad Girl as Eddie Collins, who says OK a lot. The director wanted Spencer Tracy, but got James Dunn instead. His acting in these movies was great and got him noticed in Hollywood. As Johnny Nolan, he made the character feel real to people. And as Eddie Collins, he added depth to a character known for repeating a phrase. Even though he wasn't the first choice, he made a big impact on both films. His versatility in these roles showed he was a talented actor back in Hollywood's golden era. James Dunn's acting in these movies left a lasting impression on the industry. This piece was James Dunn, an actor recognized for his roles in Hollywood, experienced both professional highs and personal lows during his career. He and Anne Revere, who won Best Supporting Actor and Actress Oscars, respectively, were honored with a postage stamp featuring them. This recognition celebrates their achievements in the film industry, highlighting their talent and influence. 
Despite facing personal challenges, he maintained a positive reputation among colleagues and acquaintances. His friendly and modest personality made him well-liked in the industry. Ilya Kazan, a famous director, praised his kind demeanor, comparing meeting him to meeting Johnny Nolan, the character Dunn famously portrayed. However, his career had setbacks. In 1951, financial difficulties led him to file for bankruptcy, mainly due to a failed investment in a Broadway show. This incident showed the risks in the entertainment industry. Throughout his journey, his enduring impact in film remains significant. Despite challenges, his likable personality shines through, showcasing his character and resilience. The postage stamp and fond memories from those who knew him stand as lasting tributes to his contributions to cinema. James Dunn, recognized for his role as Johnny Nolan in A Tree Grows in Brooklyn, encountered career challenges due to struggles with alcohol. Director Elia Kassan had to persuade Daryl F. Zanuck to hire him, as Dunn's opportunities had diminished since the 1930s. Kassan believed actors with personal experience portrayed drunks convincingly. After a conventional funeral, his remains were cremated and the ashes scattered at sea. Post his departure from his father's brokerage firm, he ventured into selling lunch wagons. Despite initial success, he lost everything in the stock market within four weeks. Dunn faced setbacks in his career, but his portrayal of Johnny Nolan remains memorable, showcasing his talent despite personal struggles. The movie industry recognized his ability to bring authenticity to his roles. James Dunn, an actor known for his role as a kind-hearted father figure, made a memorable gesture on Christmas. He granted Shirley Temple's wish for Santa Claus to arrive by airplane, dropping gifts via parachute. Alongside his acting career, he had a stepson named William Pick from his marriage to Edna Rush. This aspect of his personal life added depth to his public persona. His generosity extended beyond the silver screen, touching the hearts of many. The image of gifts cascading from the sky brought joy to countless children and cemented Dunn's legacy as not only a talented actor, but also a compassionate individual. His ability to bring happiness both on and off the screen endeared him to audiences worldwide. James Dunn's act of kindness continues to inspire, reminding us of the magic that can be found in simple gestures, especially during the holiday season. A little-known tragic fact about James Dunn is that despite his successful acting career, he battled alcoholism for many years. Despite his talent and early success, his struggles with alcohol led to personal and professional setbacks. He often found it challenging to maintain steady work due to his addiction, which ultimately affected his career trajectory. Despite efforts to overcome his addiction, it continued to plague him throughout his life, contributing to his eventual decline in Hollywood. Sadly, Dunn's story serves as a reminder of the devastating impact of addiction on even the most promising talents in the entertainment industry. It's a sobering reminder that success in the spotlight doesn't always shield one from personal demons.